Hi, Dave Searles here from Jones & Horan Auction Company in Goffstown, New Hampshire. Uh, here we have one of the most stunning jewels that we've uh, handled in, uh, in the past few years. Uh, from the perspective of Hearthstone Cameo, this is about as good as it gets. Um, beautiful portrait enamel done in agate, a green base uh, with a white band that they cut into relief and left this fully dimensional portrait uh, of a woman in Renaissance garb, Renaissance Italian garb. Uh, the setting itself is done in Etruscan style. Uh, typically these settings are 15 karat gold with a 24 karat gold wash. Um, the setting itself is uh, of quite heavy quality compared to your typical uh, Etruscan setting and the finishing of it is absolutely exquisite. There's a light tiny uh, inscription on the back that mentions the name Isabella. So when we look around for different Isabellas, uh, we can't be absolutely sure which one the artist intended, but we certainly find uh, a strong contender in Isabella di Cosimo, di Cosimo i de' Medici, uh, based on the paintings of Alessandro Allori, who, whose dates were 1535 to 1607. Um, it shows uh, pictures of her uh, wearing, um, wearing the same kind of pearl necklace, very popular at the time, pearl earring, uh, very popular, S very similar hairstyle overall. Um, the only departure from his particular painting of uh, that Isabella is the uh, Florentine style lace collar that she has. Uh, she had a slightly different collar in, her, in uh, his painting. But he was a man who did a lot of paintings of lots of beautiful Italian women there in that uh, Renaissance period. And uh, when you go through his paintings, uh, you can definitely see uh, all of the elements that are in this uh, particular uh, sculpture that, uh, that uh, have been represented in his paintings. So uh, we feel confident saying that, the, uh, that it's a portrait of Isabella uh, after uh, the manner of Allori. Uh, even though it has its own kind of 19th century feel to it, which is when it was executed. Um, absolutely beautiful thing. Um, its uh, measurements are uh, 41 millimeter by 67 millimeter long, and uh, the weight of the cameo is over an ounce, over a troy ounce, 20.9 penny weight or 32.5 grams total. Uh, we have an estimate on it of twenty-five to thirty-five hundred dollars. Uh, we think that uh, when you see it in the flesh, or even when you see it uh, here on screen, uh, you'll agree that it's exquisitely rendered. Uh, when you look at the facial detail under a loop, it's just amazing. The pearl necklace is fully dimensional. Those are, those are half spheres of pearl that have been executed in hard stone without chipping them off, which is, uh, which is an amazing accomplishment for a carver. Uh, the stone itself is translucent, so if we would hold it up briefly for a moment, you can actually get some sensation of the translucence of this white reflection coming through the back. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Absolutely love it. Wish I could afford it for myself. At any rate, we we'll look forward to seeing you May 4th at our auction in downtown Manchester, New Hampshire. No buyer's premium, no sales tax here in the state, and uh, an honest auction. Bye-bye.